Hi, I'm re-rigging the Liz character from Moho and ran into a uh, problem and I thought I'd do a quick tutorial to show how I solve these kinds of issues. So the problem is with the body turn and not really the body turn itself um, but with respect to the legs after the body turn. So let me show you what I mean here. As I take the feet, I've got the target bones, and I can bend her legs, both the left and the right leg, or make her squat or stand up. That's all fine, but when I use the body turn, now the legs, if you see, the, the legs are out of position, that's okay, but the, the issue here is that notice that the legs are no longer bending with respect to the target bones. So the question is, what's going on here? Now, the quick answer to the problem is that it's a very common thing that when you're setting up smart bone dials, you may have actually um, set keyframes for bones that you don't intend. And so that's what the issue is. But how do I find that? OK, to show this issue, this specific issue, I've brought up another character that has the same problem, but it doesn't occur with the um, body turn. And what I've done is I've, it has a full rig, but I've hidden all the other bones in the bone labels just so we can focus on the bones of interest. Now as I zoom in, I'm on a uh, non-zero frame, and I have the bone manipulation tool selected. Now I'm going to drag the target bone and try to move it, and notice that that leg uh, is swinging. Sometimes another situation that happens is the 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 um, leg might not move at all. Now this is a very common situation at least in my rigs and the reason is is because um, it, it's affected by the smart bones that I'm using for this upper leg. So let me show you what's happening in this particular issue. What's happening is that we've got a keyframe for the angle on the lower bone. So if I go to the left upper leg and I double click on that, um, and now I click on that lower leg, we see that there's a keyframe right in the middle here at frame 24. Now for me the reason that this happens is because I'm using uh, a single smart bone action for both both directions of the upper leg. So this is for the upper leg and I have both directions going on but I'm using a single action. In order to do that what we need to do is we need to copy the keyframe from 0 to the middle to 24. The problem is that um, I shouldn't have any keyframes for any bones except for the upper leg because this is an upper leg uh, smart bone action. So what should be happening is as I move this smart bone um, the points should be manipulated but not other bones. But as I select this lower bone we can see that there is a rotation keyframe. Now if I get rid of this I just click on that keyframe and press delete and now go back to the main line. We see that now I can manipulate that leg just fine. But that may not be your particular problem. Your problem could be with some other bone um, or some other keyframe. So whenever you have a character that's not behaving the way that you think um, and you've got smart bone actions, um, it's possible that one of the smart bone actions may be controlling another bone. Um, so that's something to look at. All right, so now I've put the problem back in and to show you another technique on how you can find this if it's not a specific thing. In other words, if you did, don't know exactly what it is, um, what are some quick things that you can do? Well, like I said, since I um, create these smart bone actions for the upper left um, bone because this leg coming across, that's a very common one. So we can take a look at that. And I know, so the first thing is to think about the smart bone action. Um, in this left upper leg, in that smart bone action, there should not be any bones that have keyframes except for this upper leg bone. If any of the other bones have a, um, a keyframe, then there's a problem there. 
So an easy way to deal with this and to see if that is the problem um, is to select the bone uh, selection tool and press control A so now all of the bones are selected now you look at here you don't want to delete these red ones yet because we do have the upper leg bone selected so press control and then click on that upper leg bone so now all of the bones except for the upper left leg bone um, are being selected and so that means that by looking at the red which means the selected bone angle that means that there's some bone and maybe many bones that have keyframes and they shouldn't so the solution then is just to click on that keyframe and delete it so now any bones that um, are selected um, we've removed those keyframes in this particular case I happen to know that it was the rotation on the lower bone uh, lower leg bone but it removed all of them so now this should work properly go back to the main frame and now we can see as I manipulate that leg and the other leg as well so so the first thing that I would do is I would go through all of the different actions if I don't have any idea of what's causing the problem I would go through the the actions starting with the ones that I think are most likely to cause a problem and just make sure that there are no keyframes associated with any bones except for the ones that should be um, keyframed okay but now let's go back to the Liz character and this is a little bit more confusing because well the legs work properly um, so what's going on well as I said they work properly unless we've done the body turn and so that should give you your first clue that it has to do with the body turn but let's pretend like we don't know that and so the next thing that I'm gonna do is just walk you through a basic debugging type of approach a kind of divide and conquer approach now it is true that certain bones or actions may be the most uh, likely to cause problems but you could have a bone up here um, that you think is totally unrelated to the issue but if you accidentally created a keyframe on that smart bone action uh, related to the leg even doing something like moving the eyebrows could affect how the legs behave okay so let's walk through some debugging here how do I go through trying to figure out these strange and crazy problems so the first thing is I want to have something set up so that I can keep coming back to the original um, problem so uh, you can save a copy of your file and you can keep reloading it um, you can have make a uh, duplicate of your character um, by duplicating the layers and going back and forth but in this case um, it's about smart bones and I'm using Moho 12 so there's the import action capability so what I have done is I went ahead and exported the body turn because I think that that's the problem and I exported the body turn action and then I can make changes and then re-import the original thing to see if that was the problem okay so um, it could be the smart bone action is a problem but there's another thing that's happening and that is with the body turn um, this hip bone flips so I flip it end to end and so I'm wondering if that could be the problem so the easy way to see if that is the problem is like I said divide and conquer let's see if it's the body turn or this bone flip so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the body turn and I'm gonna get rid of that action so it's gone completely and I'm gonna get rid of the old keyframes here and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check and make sure yeah the leg works properly here All right now let me go to the hip bone and I am just gonna flip that hip bone manually okay the legs are a little bit crazy but that's okay that's not my issue ah so the legs seem to be working properly ah there we go so it is not the hip end-to-end -end flip and it is the body bone smart action I mean the body turn uh, smart bone action because when I got rid of that 
the problem went away. So a first easy uh, approach that you can do is get rid of different actions. Um, you could, in fact, if you have no idea, you can get rid of half of your actions and see if any of those caused the problem. And if they didn't, then get rid of the other half. If you get rid of all the smart bone actions and you still have the problem, then it's not a smart bone action. Okay, so now that I figured out that it is the body turn action, I'm going to go ahead and import it back again. So import that body turn action and there it is it shows up again and so we can do the body turn and now again we still have that problem so let's debug the body turn so let's open that up so the first thing that I'm going to do uh, just to see if what may be causing the problem I'm going to divide and conquer again and I'm going to try to get rid of any um, actions on any bones or keyframes on any bones uh, that are most likely to be causing the problem. Maybe, you know, I've, I've got a skirt here, so maybe some of these bones are causing a problem. Don't know. Up here, not sure. But I've already checked out the hip flip, so I don't think that that's going to be the problem. So I'm just going to, since it's happening at the lower half, I'm just going to select bones in the lower half. Notice I've uh, got the lasso mode on. That's the way I like to work. And so I've selected all of these bones in the lower half. And now I'm going to delete any keyframes associated with those bones. Now I'm going to go back to the main line, delete my old uh, keyframes, and go ahead and deselect the bones. Now I'm going to do the body turn. Okay. And let's see. Oh, it looks like it works there. So clearly, clearly, the problem is with the bones in the lower half. So what I want to do is reset it back to the original state. I could do a bunch of control Z's and that might work. Um, like I said, I could reload the file. Here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to again delete the body turn uh, action that I have here and re-import it. So now the problem will be back again. So I'm going to go back to the body turn and I'm going to think, you know, I'm going to say I don't think it's the skirt uh, things because I have seen these kinds of things before. I'm going to think it has to be maybe one of these four bones. Maybe it's in the target bones, but I'm just going to pick something. So I'm going to pick these four bones right here and delete those keyframes. and now go back to the main line and see what happens there. I'm going to go back to the body turn and it's working well. So there you go. Now everything seems to work fine so I'm done. So in summary the main approach that uh, we use to find these problems is just to divide and conquer. Take the uh, thing that you think is the most likely problem and try to eliminate it in some way. And just keep eliminating things until you find the thing that's causing the problem. So I hope that's helpful and hope it helps you with your rigs.